This is just the first hug of Yegor Sobolev's homecoming. He still has a bigger surprise ahead. See, he's been on the Ukrainian front lines while his wife, Marichka Padalko, has been taking care of their three kids. Sometimes he can be offline for four or five days when he's on a mission and not supposed to use his mobile phone. Actually, war keeps me distracted from all those worries. Marichka happens to be one of Ukraine's top news anchors fighting her own battle. We know how Russians are sufficient and professional in uh, making up news and fake news and propaganda. So I think our biggest weapon now as journalists just to tell the truth, to show what is going on. She and her colleagues from other channels across Ukraine have banded together for a unified newscast from undisclosed locations airing for hours each day, even as their families are at risk. When I do my daydreaming and when I think about my biggest hope, I'm, uh, I imagine how my husband comes back and how my children get to see him again. Sometimes daydreams do come true. Even if victories don't come easy. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Lviv, Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.